Hello again, it's Dan from Tidal Gardens. We're always on the lookout for cool and interesting fish to help out with our coral propagation activities, and this video is about the dragon face pipefish. But before we get to that, I want to talk a little bit about our small polyp stony, or SPS system. So things for the most part are going pretty well. The corals are growing and the colors are coming along, but the problem is when you have so many, you're bound to run into some issues with red bugs. Now, they're not the end of the world, but it's like your corals have fleas, and some people blame their problems that the corals are having on these little guys here. To combat red bugs, you can dip the corals in Interceptor or some other chemicals to try to remove them. Now, Interceptor is a parasite medication for dogs that's available by prescription only. So from what I understand, there are some complications that can occur in dogs, so they need some veterinary attention before using these medications. Our tanks, however, don't have these problems. Um, some vets are willing to sell the medication if you explain to them what you plan to use it for. I've also heard that some people have had some success with a bug spray called, um, actually it's slipping my mind, but it's from Bear, and you can get it from a hardware store. Now for me, I try to avoid using chemicals whenever possible, and prefer a natural means of control. After a bit of searching, I heard these pipefish are effective and wanted to give them a try. Okay, so let's get a little bit of background on the fish itself. The dragon-faced pipefish is a distant relative of the seahorse. Originally, I was kind of worried that they wouldn't be able to handle the flow in a reef tank, as seahorses tend to be poor swimmers compared to other fish. Uh, these guys were actually surprisingly agile, and um, they were able to get around the tank quite easily, even in pretty strong flow. Now, pipefish can't be fed directly, which is going to be an issue in some of the smaller tanks that people have. They're kind of like mandarin dragonets, in that they pick off live critters off the rocks and the corals. So they pretty much spend all day scooting around and picking off tiny crustaceans that they find. So far, I have noticed a decline in the number of red bugs I see on my SPS. They're not by any way eradicated, but then again, I probably have a thousand frags of Acropora and only a couple small pipefish to, to handle the issue. Okay, thanks again for watching. I hope you liked the video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out our Facebook page. I'll link it in the description below. Take care.